What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with part two video of the Mad Hatter hat from a lampshade. So I got to figure out a title. But we are back with this epic Mad Hatter hat. And I knew it was going to be a long video to begin with. But I just wanted to share with you guys real time on creating this video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I came across this wonky lampshade at Goodwill for 50 cents that was just calling my name out and begging to get some love. So it became a Mad Hatter hat. I had this epic vision in my head and I am trying really hard to execute that vision. So, so far it's turning out okay. There have been some challenges along the way, but I'm excited about it and I'm ready to keep going. So if you want to just fast forward to the end, that's perfectly okay. Or if you just want to mute me, that's okay too. I don't even have to know about it. You don't even have to go back and watch part one. I get it. So but I'm just going to keep talking like you are crafting along beside me anyway and get started on finishing up this hat. So I'm going to flip the camera around and get started again. Okay, so when we finished up part one, we had just attached the top part to the rim of the hat. So now is just the, pretty much just the decorating part of it, I guess you would say. So get this trim piece that I got. I should take the time and clean up this glue off my desk and wash my brush, but I'm too excited to keep working. And I'm glad this was the right length because I think we're going to need the whole thing. So I'm going to try to, I could take the time and sew this on my sewing machine. But really what I love about Mad Hatter's hat is it's kind of just patched together and thrown together anyway. So I, I don't think it's necessary to, to do that. So I'm trying to figure out what part I want to be the front, what part I want to be the back, and I like, I don't know if the camera is picking up how wonky it is, but it leans this way, and that was actually the shape of the lampshade. So that's the wonky lampshade that I was talking about. Now you can kind of tell a little bit more how it how it is when you see it on something flat like this. The whole lampshade goes like this, and that's how it was in the store. So it needed my love. So I think I'm going to do this part as the front because I, I don't know. I really like how it curves that way because if I do it, I don't know that. Yeah, I like that. I think we're going to go with this as the front. So I'm just going to wrap this around like that. and simply tie it. Nothing fancy there. Nothing too complicated again yet. This will also cover up those pins. So I'm just gonna do a knot. And I think this actually ended up being the perfect length and width. So I'm width, width, width. So I'm excited about that because you know how part of it hangs off anyway. So that worked out great. And just tuck this in a little bit, make that a little bit nicer. And I think I need to tie it a little bit tighter. It's satin. I think I called it silk earlier, but it's satin. So it's... Kind of tricky to work with, but it's doable. So I am really curious to see how many people actually watched part one and not skipping ahead to the end. So let me know. Tell me, tell me what you think. You don't have to tell me if you muted me. <laughs> I get it. I talk a lot. My messages are long too. I can never have short messages. My friend Tess, of course, Tess, I've talked about you twice in this video. We joke saying that I write novels, <laughs> but she does, she writes some too. <laughs> Mine are just longer. 
anyway, it's nice to have a friend that you can just talk to. And I actually have several in our our swap group that, man, I just have the best conversations with you to think that we've known each other for a long time. And I'm going to cut off some of these strings just because they're, they're bugging me. And I know it's going to unravel again because it's not finished. So why am I doing that? We're just, I think we're going to leave it. I, I'll probably go back and burn the edges so it doesn't fray. And if I had my lighter beside me, I would do that now. But I don't. I'm not a smoker, but I have a lighter in my room. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even imagine being a smoker. I have asthma. Yeah, that would that would not be good. Plus, I just do not like the way it smells. But anyway, I have a lighter in my room because every crafter has to have some kind of fire, right? <laughs> I'm just joking. I have a lighter because I make my dog's bows, hair bows. And so, to burn the edges of the ribbon for their bows. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pause this and get my lighter because I think that's gonna distract me too much. So let me do that real quick. Okay, I got my lighter. So I actually almost grabbed my um, little mini torch <laughs> because it was close and I have that for when I'm doing paint pouring which I haven't done in a long time. I kind of got burned out on doing it. I feel like everybody was doing it and um, I did it a lot so I kind of got burned out on it but I'm I wanted to do that again. Anyway I did not grab the torch because obviously I do not need to use the torch on this set and so I got my lighter. So we're just gonna or I'm just going to burn these edges so they don't fray anymore because I think that was just going to keep driving me nuts. Ooh, I let that get on fire. <laughs> I think that was just going to drive me nuts and keep distracting me. It actually kind of looks cool when it got on fire. I mean, do that intentionally. Just kidding. I won't do it intentionally, but it'll probably happen again. Yeah, that, that was just going to drive me nuts. I'm glad I paused it and grabbed, grabbed the lighter. Oh, I did it again. Oh, that, see, it actually does look kind of cool like that, though. So I'm not even mad about it. I do wish, I'm not going to lie, I do wish that I would have made that hole bigger because it would be cool to be able to wear this. <laughs> not that I would wear it anywhere, but just to be able to, right? So, I don't know. I may, I may just have to work on that later. Ooh, see how quick I threw that lighter? <laughs> I may just have to work on that later. Not to panic, not to panic. I only burnt myself a little. <laughs> Maisie's looking at me like, what are you doing and why did you throw that, Mom? <laughs> Maisie's my little dog, if you guys don't know that, which I think I've said that already, but one of the mini dogs. Sorry for that slamming, I dropped it really quick. Because for some reason, my left hand doesn't want to work. Okay. I think that that is better. So here is the front part of it. It's got the tie on the back. I almost got it all. These are so distracting for me. To me, I guess I should say. I think it's looking cute. Now I noticed that my camera light's kind of picking up the green, uh, a weird color with my 
outside lights. Is that better? I wonder. Huh. It's a really pretty olive green color. Um, I think it's a pretty color. It's like an olive green. Now, time to start decorating. So I had painted the sticks gold. Actually, I used the Sharpie. I was going to paint them. And time to pick our... Ooh, I almost set it in that glue. Time to pick which ones we want to put on there. And I have another one. Where is where is my other one? I know I have three. Here it is. Okay. I think... Okay, well, I know we're doing one of these. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'm going to make sure these little small beads don't go in the ground so my dogs don't get them. Because that would not be good. It's like having a baby in the house with little dogs. <laughs> And I think I like, oh, I may need my jewelry, my um, jewelry tools to take this off. I can't do that with scissors. Yeah, let me get my jewelry tools. I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll just, let's do this one. I need my other, my other cutters, but they broke on me. My other wire cutters broke on me, so I'm gonna have to make these work. Unless I can... No, I'll just loosen up that jump ring. Be smart, Amy. Be smart. Be smart. Ha! I don't know what I thought I could do there. <laughs> Thought I was She-Ra for a second, I guess. All right, yeah, these are going to be cute. Okay, so there's that one, that one. I think we're going to do one of these. Just because I think it would be cool. I like this one, I think. I like how that wraps around. And let's get that off. Yeah, I just think these beads were really pretty. And when they were on sale, I thought, man, this will make the perfect stuff. Like, this project was just meant to be. Oh, I need another one. Let's see. Let's do... Um, let's do... Let's do that one. I think that'll look... I think that'll look nice. Because I'm pretty certain that his hat has four jewels in it. Pretty certain it does. sure those little pieces don't oh no I just get stuck on the glue on my desk <laughs> okay let's do those four pieces I 
think this is going to come out nice. And I'm just going to attach these with hot glue. I think would be the easiest. Let's see how much. I think that would be the easiest, easiest way. Ooh, I had my hot glue gun on for a while there. Sit that over to dry. These are so pretty. I think this is going to look, I think it's going to look good. I'm excited about this. Man, look at the steam come off of this. Oh, man. There's another jump ring I just noticed on there I need to get off. I almost just reached in and grabbed that and this glue is hot. It's not my high temp glue gun. I really don't use that, man. I thought I needed a high temp glue gun. Oh, that was close. Guys, don't get one. Man, let me tell you, just don't. I used it once and oh my gosh, we are talking major burns. Like these these low temp ones, they burn, but you know, it's it's not a burn that lasts. Oh my goodness. That thing, oh, it hurt so bad and I was left with the burn for a long time. So I, I don't use that. <laughs> I even like that this Kind of has that. I think that's kind of cool. So I think I'm going to put it going this way. I don't know. It's just unique. And Mad Hatter is definitely unique. So. Gosh, I keep sitting it down right next to that. We, we actually don't have much much left of this to do, to put together. Now this one's gonna kinda be hard to attach. And what I should do is maybe wrap some wire around it. Because it's already got that gold wire. That, that would look, that would look kinda cool. Yeah, let's do that. Let me let me grab my gold jewelry wire. Okay, I called it jewelry wire, but it's actually floral wire. And I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. They have a whole bunch of different colors of this. And I got it when I was making um, bohemian beads. So if you're into journal jewelry, then go check out that video of my bohemian beads. They're really cool. And I'm not the first one to make bohemian beads. I just showed you guys how I make them. So pretty fun little tutorial I think they're a lot of fun to make I know that you can make them so many different ways I know I need to get me some more um, wire cutters since mine broke I've got to get me some more because got to have that all right I don't know if this is a good idea or not or if I should just glue it but I'm gonna try it just because I really like how that gold looks around the bead anyway. That came on the bead. And then I can always add some glue as well. This will just be extra reinforcements. I mean, this floral wire is very thin anyway. It's not like it's, yeah, that didn't work so well. <laughs> not like it's the sturdiest of stuff. 
Maybe I should glue it first. Yeah, that'd probably be the smartest. Glue it first and then add the wire. It's it's probably more for looks than it is anything, but make it a little bit easier to work with. <laughs> and it probably even looks better without the wire, but when I have something in my head, dang it. Oh, does it take away from the from the actual bead? Let's see. No, I think I like it. I'm just gonna add some more glue though. At least cover up the sharp points of that wire. I don't want the glue to be seen. I don't want all this work and then it to look tacky because you can't have a tacky Mad Hatter hat, right? <laughs> yeah, that's meant to be a joke. Okay, so while those are drying. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my hot glue gun because yeah, it's smoking on me. And if I don't do it now, I may forget. I really don't use much hot glue in my projects because I hate the strings. I hate hot glue strings. They just drive me nuts. Like I don't have, I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> okay, so while that is drying, what, I'm going to go ahead and make the card that sticks out of his hat. So this is just a heavier, um, heavier piece of cardstock, and just going to cut the piece out. About the size of a playing card. I could just use a playing card, but we are doing this all from from the beginning. I don't know what I was gonna say. Actually, I want it a little bit longer than a playing card because I want it to stick up through here. So a playing card wouldn't have worked anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead and curve my edges. I don't think I need the bottom ones done, but it's just going to drive me crazy if I don't. Yeah, let's see how much of this would stick through because it may be too long. Oh no, I think that's good. So about, about this much. <laughs> Take about right here. Now we're gonna draw the, the numbers on it and I'm just gonna do that with my Sharpie. And I think I'm gonna, um, let's see. Sorry, I'm imaginary writing. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it like, let's 
this. I mean, if I don't like it, I can always redo it, right? It's a little curvy. That's a little curvy than what I was going for. We'll see how it looks. Oh, may look okay. I wonder if I need to make it. Well, you're just gonna see. Quit guessing myself, Amy. This is supposed to be fun. Oh, is that line too curvy? I think that line's too much. I'm gonna do another one. I'm going to do another one because I didn't like it to begin with. Good thing it's just paper. That was a good length, though. So, Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I did like the... Wow. I'm good. Try this again. Maybe I should draw that line first. Do I even want it curvy? Maybe I should practice here. Nope. Maybe I should. Just in case I end up using that one, maybe I should practice here. Is that better? Or do I want it to just go? No. Looks too much like a fraction. Maybe just a slight curve. All right, just roll with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> That's a little bit better. If I do that, it didn't. Make it look as curvy. Make this a little bit bigger. Yeah. I like that one better. Can you even tell the difference? I can. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's stick that in there. I wonder if I should distress that up a little bit. I definitely need to curve it some so it. Curves around it more. Oh no, I like that. All right, let's add our jewels. Just gonna 
go directly inside that. There we go. I have to tighten up this sash a little bit so it there we go. So I think I want them sticking up from the front a little bit more like this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, this was supposed to be the easy part. Why am I making this complicated? Why is this so hard? Here we go. Wonder if I need to put a little bit of, oh, they're so top heavy. I didn't think of that. Ooh, I got an idea. What if I, nope, oh, nope. Huh, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? Okay, first of all, do I like the placement? I think I do, I think I do. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to open it up from there. Maybe. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack. I know I had a needle over here. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna tack it in place with the with some thread. Actually, this this would probably be better. I think I'm gonna do this instead. If you're watching this, you're probably saying, no, why don't you just do this? But since you're not actually here crafting beside me, I'm having to figure it out on my own. All right. So let's see here. I want to make sure I for sure like the placement before I do this. I think, I think I do. You know what? I think I know it. I think I figured something else out. I think the card, whoa, okay, I'm getting way off center here. needs to go on this side. Yep. Yep. That's that's what I need to do right there. And then, oh gosh, sorry, that was my drawer to my desk. I probably just banged the whole thing. I can attach it to the actual card. So I think that's a better idea. Yes, that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, which means I need to plug up. Do I wanna use my hot glue gun again? <laughs> it's kind of messy and I don't want all the strings. Maybe I will. 
wonder if this will work. Maybe, maybe this will work. Oh, and I should have taken the time to wash out my brush. <laughs> Let's just try this. All right, let's see. Let's first line up where I want the card. Just like that. Okay. Let's see here. I am sure there's a better way to do this, but I like to make things complicated. I think it's gonna, I think it was a brilliant idea. <laughs> and I can always adjust it a little bit. Let's see. Yep. I think hot glue would have left it messy looking and I don't want it to look messy looking. I would think this stuff would work. I mean, it works for fabric. So surely it'll work for paper and a wooden stick, right? I shouldn't have used my good paintbrush on this. But I will wash it as soon as I'm done and put some of my brush conditioner on it and hopefully it'll be good. Wondering if I should do one coming up this way. I should have put that one up there because it's kind of top heavy. So now I need to add glue to the other side of that. I didn't really think that through. Let's see here. Let's see here. In general, I'm actually happy with how it's turning out. There's a few things that I was, I had vision to look a little bit better, but for the most part, I'm, I'm pleased so far. I do wish that I would have made the hole bigger to put it on. So, I am sure at some point I'm going to be, I almost set that on that thinking it was a paper towel. At some point, I'm sure I'm going to be um, making that hole bigger. Oh, oh you're already attached. I kind of wish I wouldn't have covered up that. Oh, there we go. I can move you. Covered up that six too much. I like the card going sideways like that. And for you, I want you going, yes, like that. That's good. That's good. Don't you guys think that's, that's a good spot? Man, that's, that's overkill on the glue. <laughs> it's 
just enough for me to make more of a mess. Oh gosh, that's definitely too much. I'm just gonna scrape some of that off with this. Because my paper towels are across the room. against here and we are almost done I wonder how long <laughs> this video is going to be I wonder if I needed to do three parts but I think three parts would just be too long all right hopefully those are stuck nope Oh, they are stuck. It's the card that's not secure. Okay, guys, I am liking this. Oh, I pushed the card down too much. Man, so many little finicky details that I am just messing with. I tell you, I get a little perfectionist, OCD, whatever you want to call it. All right, now to decide the finishing touch is the peacock feather. Haha. <laughs> right, I'm excited that I finally took the time to make this video. I really am. And get a little bit, oh, this came with two of them. I don't need two, just one. Or do I need two? <laughs> or do I need the small ones? I think the big one, honestly. I think the hat is big enough to wear. Oh no, I just need one. Oh my goodness. I love it. I will zoom out in a minute and show you guys how it looks. It's, I know it's hard at this camera angle, but I act, I absolutely love it. I need to secure this card a little bit better. Definitely the big peacock feather. And I think I'm going to pin the card in place because the pins seem to be doing the trick on everything else. So I'm going to do that under the sash. I'm calling it a sash. I don't know what it would be called. Let's see here. Ha, sometimes I am smart. Yes, I am. I wonder what the small one would look like. I, I think I'm I think I'm gonna stick with the big one, but I'm curious now. And if I don't try it, I will remain curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Yes, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. I can't work on an Alice in Wonderland project without quoting it once. Oh, that kind of that has that that one. <laughs> Which Kind of looks cool, maybe. Hmm, let's see here. Is it too much to do both? I don't think it's too much. I think, I think I like it. I think it, I think I do. What do you think? I like how it kind of, I don't know. I like how that part of the peacock feather just adds to it. So I ended up using a small one and a big one. Is that part of the feather? What is up with this? What What is this? What are you? You're part of the feather. Go, go back over there. 
your wow peacock. Yes, I like it. All right, guys, I am going to stop right here because I, I like it. And I will flip the camera around and show you guys the finished product. If you've stuck with me this song on these past two videos, then you finally get to see the finished hat. And I am actually really pleased with it. So here we go. What do you guys think? I, let me get closer. Hopefully the light is picking up that color green. I am actually really pleased with it. Uh, my only thing that I want to change is I want to make the hole to where I can actually put it on. Let me bend down so you can see. Yeah, so I can actually put it on. <laughs> but really, I don't need to put it on. I mean, it was decoration for my art studio. So I may or may not go back and make that hole bigger. We shall see. But what do you think? I mean, I just think those jewels that I chose are great. I'm glad I redid the card with that, that line. Um, I'm pleased with how the pleats and the hat turned out. Um, I'm glad I added the small and the big peacock feather because I like how that peacock feather added some contrast to it. I did notice that I was not super careful with that glue brush and some of it got on my satin down here, but you can't tell. So we'll just pretend like that happened at his tea party, right? So what do you guys think? I hope that you like it. I hope that you watch this video or at least watch the end of it and see how it turned out but not bad for a 50 cent wonky lampshade for an Alice in Wonderland lover like myself so I think it was a lot of fun I think it's gonna look really cute in my art studio I hope that you guys enjoyed it or found some kind of humor in it watching me mess up or just kind of rig it but I think it was a lot of fun. I inspire you to, I hope it inspires you, that's what I'm trying to say, to make one yourself. Take a look at what other people consider trash, like a lampshade that you don't want in your living room because it's all wonky, is my word, and give it another look and see what kind of treasure you can turn it into. So my trash to treasure project is this awesome Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter hat. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I sure would appreciate it. And we will talk to you guys very soon. As always, happy crafting.